Blitzbreaker is a Twitch action game that you can find on Steam and Itch.io for 3 bucks that came out on February 2nd. It keeps the controls and concepts simple, but will its simplicity be able to hold your attention? Before I begin this 5 minute markup, this key was obtained from the developer for review purposes, but won't change my opinion of the game in the end. So the concept of Blitzbreaker is simple. You can throw yourself in one of the four cardinal directions as you attempt to hurl yourself towards the level's goal. Gravity, locked doors, and various traps play a part as well, so you have to time your jumps and throw yourself so that momentum doesn't take you into yet another set of spikes that the blue bomber himself would be triggered by. And that's it. That's the game. It's simple reactionary gameplay boiled down to a simple form. The game is simple, but it plays off that simplicity well by the way it uses the mechanics in question, at least at first. In particular with momentum, there are times that you'll have to use the environment to make incremental progress, such as throwing yourself at a wall while submerged in water, and letting the momentum carry you a little higher after the collision. The game does a good job of introducing these mechanics at first, and then does combine them in new ways down the road to twist the formula slightly. But my overuse of the phrase at first within the last paragraph is hinting at something. See, the obstacles that the game throws at you are very hit and miss. When the game threw the conveyor belts at you, for example, that was a good mix-up and challenge, doing things slightly differently but keeping the idea of momentum simple and fun. The jump key finally gets a use, and it provides something new in terms of your thought process of how to go about a level. But then it's got the missile sections, which not only don't pose a threat thanks to the speed you can move at, but are just boring. Sure, it could be that I'm more accustomed to these parts and it just didn't do it for me, but there's a couple of times where the game follows up a strong section with a particularly weak one, hurting the game's overall pace of gameplay. Now the game does provide a challenge thanks to collectibles that you can grab, usually in a part of the map that asks for either absolute precision or a completely different mindset than you may have expected. Those who love repetitive perfectionism and reward chasing will enjoy throwing yourself at death over and over and over again, and you will die like a newbie to the Dark Souls franchise. But here's where the major decisive factor of the game comes into play. And that factor is the level design, in particular with its length. When the levels are short and simple, the game is at its best. But it's the longer levels that will drive people up the walls, as the game does ask a lot of you in terms of precision. This particular boss fight in question has four phases that has a gotcha at the end of each of them, making you wonder how you could have predicted that particular behavior without dying to it at least once. Needless to say, the frustration factor needed to play this game is rather high. The game is obviously designed with mobile aspirations in mind, despite coming out the Steam and Itch.io first. And if you can't tell by the research I did, the bars on the side of the screen is sort of a dead giveaway. Now, while the game is cheap, the problem for it is rather simple. It's going up against some titans for Twitch action games, among the likes of Teambo the Badass Elephant and Super Meat Boy. When you can get those games at a cheap price as they constantly go on sale, it's hard to justify Blitzbreaker compared to them. Sadly, that's because this market is rather flooded with games right now, and Blitzbreaker doesn't do anything unique enough to stand out. It's good, don't get me wrong, but it doesn't have an oomph factor. Blitzbreaker is a technically sound game that, to me, is a victim of circumstance. It's good, it's solid, and once it hits the mobile platform, I would argue that it's worth a pickup right away there. But on the vastness of Steam, Blitzbreaker gets overrun by the other games in the genre, and it just doesn't have the flash for it to compare to them. And before I finish, this is the first of a 5 minute markup series, and I would like to get your guys feedback on it. Find it useful? Leave your comments in the comments section below. Thanks for watching. Like the video, share it with a friend, and subscribe if you want more content like this. In the description below, you'll find the Steam review accompanying this vid, along with social media that you can follow me on, Twitter, Google+, and Facebook groups. And if you want to support the channel, click that Patreon on the left of the screen. And remember, keep on gaming.